I've been living how I wanna, she all about the drama So I'ma have to leave her in the past like Madonna Yeah, I'm different, I know that they cannot see the vision Keep wishing, I'ma keep moving on a mission I'm a Yo, hello? It's Povikas from Editing Visuals here, and today I will show you how to make the magazine text. If you want to enhance your editing potential, then make sure to check out our Editing Visuals website and watch other tutorials on the channel. Let's begin. There are two ways to make the magazine text. The first one is pretty bad, and the second one takes some time, but it's very worth it, and it's what basically everyone does. So the first way is you can go to Google, and you can search magazine letter font, and it's by the font. You can go here, and you can download this font. With this font, there are not many things you can do because it's only going be one layer variation but that's about it not really much you can do and there's also another way a real way better way but it takes some more time so we can go out of there and you can go to google and you can search magazine letters this might be very boring for you but you can just go click like a random one and you can download it then you can just start cutting out each letter one by one and take a really long time but there's another way you can get our magazine letter pack from our website and in the pack we have over 10 variations for a letter so now let's go out out of Google. Now we can open, if you have gotten the magazine letter pack, we can open it. For this tutorial, I'll type text, I guess. I'm going to choose like the first one. Let's just copy it to here. Let's place it here. We can press P and we can just position it somewhere maybe here. I'm going to add another T because we will need it later on for the last letter. So I'm going to put it here. Just press P and I'll put it somewhere maybe here. We can add the letter E. So we can go here to the magazine letter pack. Here we have a lot of variations for E. We even have these bonus ones that have changed a lot like this one. Maybe the simple one. I'll put it somewhere here. I'll position it somewhere maybe here. And we can add another X. And I'm going to position it somewhere here. Reposition it, you know, how you want. What we can do now is just select all of them and right click. Go to pre-compose. Move all attributes into the new composition. Call text right here. Now we want to make the shape. We can add turbulent displays. Make the amount, I'd say somewhere from 10 to 40. So I will make it like 27. The size somewhere from 50 to 100. So I would recommend 80. The offset to 9600. Zero, zero. And that's pretty good for now. Go to evolution options and we can click on random seed keyframe it and at the start make it like zero this is a around three second clip so at the ending of a three second clip we could make it like 24 just test it out how much you want maybe you want it to like lag a little more we can also make this text scale up i'll keyframe it here and i'll make it one i'll go to the ending and i'll make it 100 here and i'll select both of the keyframes i'll press f9 now i'll go to graph editor and here I'll make the graphs pretty close to each other like depending if you want it to go in now we can also press on this button to add a little motion blur and this is how it looks right now we can make it look way cooler go into the pre-composition and here we're going to start adding different variations of the same layers we have right here you can go back to my pack and i could go to t for example select maybe like t3 put it down here i'm going to make it so the t3 is at the same position as this letter t click on this letter's position and let's go to t3 here and let's just copy and paste the position maybe this scale is a little too small so we can scale it up a little bit we can add another letter t that's different and again i'll position it right where the original one was so right here that's a pretty good position maybe i'll add one more t now we have four t's here and what we can do is go like one frame forward two frame forward three frame forward somewhere between three four or five frames forward so i'm gonna go maybe like four frame forward press ctrl shift d delete it and do it for others now just place them in the gaps where there's nothing and what we can do now is we can select all of the layers t right click on them and we can go to pre-compose and we can just call it whatever like t1 we can copy and paste this pre-composition layer until it fills up our whole composition so this is how it looks for now and we can do the same thing to other layers so let's do it to layer e yeah we added like four here and now i'm gonna go one two actually for this time i'll go like three frames forward i'll just cut them all just move them like this i'll select them and i'll pre-compose so i'll call it e and now just copy and paste it all over the video now we can make the same thing for x so we can go one two three four five frames forward here actually select all of them and we can press ctrl shift d and now press delete on that and i'll just move these and i'm going to select all of them recompose them i'll call it x Control c Control v and we've made x and now we need to make the last letter and we have made this paper text now let's see how it looks it has that magazine vibe to make it even cooler you can add even more one layer variations i hope you guys learned something today from this tutorial you can also join our discord server if you have any questions have a fun and productive day see ya